Um, smash the light bucket, buck, buckton, buckton, buckskin. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, welcome back. It's another video. Can you believe it? I barely can. We've got another challenge today. We're going to be doing Cointreau. This fantastic orange liqueur derived just of, of orange peels and sugar and alcohol, obviously. I just want to say thank you very much to, to Alex from Kitchen Island Bakery for this challenge. Check her out, Kitchen Island on Instagram. Fantastic stuff. So what we're going to do, we're going to get started obviously with our shaker. We're going to go in with the Cointreau and we're going to get about an ounce, I'd say an ounce. A little extra there. And then we're going to do, I've got some Johnny Walker red label here. We're just going to do an ounce and a half. From there, I've got some pineapple juice. We're going to do a full two ounces. I'd normally do a simple syrup, but because we're using an ounce of Cointreau, which is quite sweet, pineapple juice, which is also quite, fairly sweet, we're going to omit that entirely and we're just going to actually go right into some lemon juice to brighten it up a little bit. We're going to go three quarters of an ounce. I'm going to use a little bit of black walnut bitters today. Just add a bit of a nutty undertone. Ah, three units and four is whatever. We're going to grab some ice now and give it a good shake. We're getting pretty good with the tongs, as you guys probably noticed. I've had a lot of time to practice, so now we're going to give it a re real good shake. Oh, that smells so fantastic. Okay, and I'm gonna be using a coupe, coupe glass today. If I was at work, I'd be chilling that prior to making the drink, so it comes in a nice chilled glass. Considering I'm just gonna drink this pretty quickly directly after filming, I'm not gonna worry about that. And considering pineapple is a pretty large component in this beverage, I'm gonna use a little bit of pineapple here. I'm gonna just kinda cut it into a Nice little wedge. I'm just gonna grab a couple of pineapple leaves, stick that on there, and slip that on the rim of the glass. Nailed it. And there we are. Let's do this. Mmm. Just that little bit of peatiness from the scotch. Playing with the sweetness of the pineapple and the Cointreau. Oh, that is fantastic. It's almost tiki-esque, you know? That's fun. Cocktail number two. First of all, I just want to say, I just came back from a quick pee break and um, I didn't realize how stupid my hair looked. Sam didn't even tell me, so I just had to fix it up real quick. Like the camera guy doesn't even care about what I look like. It's fine. He's like, oh, that shirt's not too tight, but you know, we all know. So let's go. Let's go cocktail number two. We're going to go with some fantastic gin, some fantastic Cointreau once again. I'm just going to go with an ounce of gin. I'm just going to do uh, three quarters of an ounce Cointreau. I'm going to do some fresh squeezed orange juice. Just squeeze this just prior to make it to the video. So. This does not work nearly as well without fresh squeeze. Like, so don't try using Tropicana or something like that. This is best. He's best. Uh, we're going to do some lemon juice, three quarters of an ounce. Then we're going to use a touch of honey simple syrup. We're just going to do about a quarter ounce. We're going to add a little splash of Pecho bitters, maybe two dashes, two solid dashes. Uh, and then we're going to do some fresh mint. And everybody's like, what are you doing? Mint and it's mint and orange juice. It's like having orange juice after you brush your teeth and everybody knows how gross that is. But we're gonna, we're gonna do it. It's a fantastic combo. It's really unlikely, but it's really nice. It's gotta be fresh mint and fresh squeezed orange juice though. Can't stress that enough. I'm just gonna give this a little slap too. Gonna bring those oils out. Let's grab some ice here. It's kind of frozen. <laughs> grab a Collins glass. I'm gonna throw in this. Beautiful ice. One of the good things about being a laid off bartender is it gives you lots of time to play around with things like making clear ice.
After only several grueling hours, I came up with this beautiful piece here. Why not? It looks amazing. We're just gonna fine strain this over our ice. I don't know why I always feel the need to make them so full. So I'm just gonna... Oh, that's awesome. Mmm. Just gonna do a little orange twisty. Just mostly want the oils. Just to give it a quick rim. And we're just gonna go like so. All right, there we are guys. Cocktail number two. This is another beautiful, refreshing summertime cocktail. Just the bright herbaceousness of that mint just makes it so refreshing. Fresh squeeze orange juice and everything, phenomenal. You guys are gonna love that. Oh, once again, I don't have a name for it. Uh, I kinda need names. Guys, thanks so much for watching once again. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, share it with a, fa a family member, a friend, or a foe. But also, keep the challenges coming. If you've got a bottle of something you're not sure what to do with, let us know about it. And we'd be happy to make up some cocktails for you. Cool? All right. <laughs>